why they say that 1998 was such a great year for humanity. Both you and Google were born, and that was even before my time. <laughs> and now, I would like to invite to the stage Raoul Talier, also known as Quinky. Quinky is a gamer streamer and a hardware enthusiast, and she will tell us how gaming changed her life, and streaming gave it meaning. Okay. I'm a little bit nervous, so bear with me. Okay, so like you said, I'm Lil Dari, aka Queen Nikki. I'm a gamer, a streamer, and a hardware lover. Ever since young age, I really love everything that is related to uh, electronics, hardware, everything. I can even tell you that when I was six, I took my brother's PC apart and put it back together just to see if I can. And I actually did. From there, I realized I have something in me that makes me want to, like, keep on uh, exploring that uh, area. Uh, after a while, oh, I forgot to that. <laughs> after a while, uh, I even got to learn uh, English, typing English before I knew how to type Hebrew, because we used that old thing called DOS, if you remember, to run games and uh, all of that. And my passion actually started from day bigger and all of those uh, lovely old games that some of you already know. I can tell you that as time passed, uh, technology progressed and so have I, and my passion for gaming became bigger and bigger, and I had the honor to take part, uh, to take part uh, as, a, as a spectator and a participant in live gaming events in a professional manner, and I had the honor to know that I'm the first woman in Israel that, that did it. I can even tell you when I tried to take my PC on stage to go and compete, uh, the dude said, honey, hold on, leave your boyfriend's PC on the side and sit in the audience. <laughs> but let's say the stage manager told him, hey, that's Nikki, and he was like, let me help you with your PC. <laughs> and, uh, that was a good one. Um, recently, I had the honor to take part in the coverage of E3. E3, it's, um, it's a convention that takes part uh, in the States once a year. It's an uh, electronic uh, entertainment expo. It shows all the upcoming new games, all the new uh, innovation and the new things in technology that are related to gaming hardware and, uh, and such. And uh, we did this coverage for Ynet, which is one of the biggest uh, websites in Israel for uh, covering news. So that was amazing. Now, let's dive a little bit in. What is actually a streamer? Well, a streamer is a person that streams their life, basically anything they want. <coughs> can be their hobbies, their passions, their everyday life, anything that you want. And you have different platforms that you can stream on. You have YouTube, that all, all, like all of you probably know. You have Twitch, which is a parallel platform, but it's strictly built for live streaming. And of course, you have Snapchat and Facebook. One thing about Twitch, it's uh, owned by Amazon, recently owned by Amazon, and it has a lot of perks uh, right after that happened. Okay, so like I said, you can do basically anything. You can even draw uh, with your uh, viewers, uh, show them how you work. And just having a lot of fun. Or even cook uh, uh, at home with your friends. Or Ninja, which he is the biggest streamer in the world. He plays Fortnite, oh, yeah. uh, which is the most playable oh. game in the world. And yeah, stuff like that happens live. <laughs> And, of course, you can stream on a different platform. So you have the options to stream on your Xbox, on your PlayStation, on your iPad, or on your phone. And, of course, on your PC. This is my little kingdom over here, as you can see. And back in the day, like, the computer desk was like a dusty old spot. And it was more for uh, functionality. Now it's a spot in the house that you can ma really make it your own and have your own fantasy uh, spot over there. Here you can see some customized setups as well uh, by Xmod and some... Customized PCs, which is it's amazing. Okay, so how do you actually make a living? Because this is great. Okay, you're, you're at home, you're streaming, you're showing it to a live audience, but how do you actually make money out of it? So you have uh, mainly five ways to do so. First one is donations. Yeah, like you have viewers <coughs> that watch you on a regular basis and they want to see you stream as much as you can. So they donate money, so you'll be able to do that. You have the time to play with them, talk to them, and stream with them. And you have stuff like this that happens as well. 
So it makes the stream interesting, interactive, and uh, the streamer makes a, makes a living out of it. The next thing is subscribers. Subscribers are the same viewers that donate, but they want to support your stream on a more regular basis. So they can support you on a monthly basis. So they choose to pay $5, $10, or $25 per month, and the streamer splits it 50-50 with Twitch. And like I said, uh, Amazon bought Twitch, so you can even use your Amazon Prime to subscribe for free for your favorite streamer. This is how the streamer knows that he has a solid income, regardless of on how much money he's going to make on donations. So, you can see it over here, you can see the alert over there. This is a sub train when a lot of people sub at the same time, which is amazing. And the crack is to cover a very uh, familiar word that all of you know. <laughs> okay, the next one is Bits. Bits is a virtual coin that was coined by Amazon for Twitch. Which means when viewers watch commercials or advertisement, uh, advertisements uh, when the stream runs, they accumulate those beats and then they can uh, give it to their favorite streamer uh, as money. One beat equals one cent. And you can get it by advertisements and uh, you can get it by purchasing it on Amazon. The next thing is selling merchandise. Don't get excited, it's not in stores yet. Uh, some of my viewers uh, made some memorabilia from my stream. This is a cup, this is a keychain, and this is a dab t-shirt, you can say. Basically, the streamer can choose to have their personal input, their personal thing on the merchandise, and their, and their viewers choose to buy it and order it and wear it and actually publish you and support your stream as well. It can be seriously anything. Because like I said, when you're streaming anything, you can sell anything. It can be uh, even kitchen supplies if you're uh, like cooking on your stream. The next thing, and last, is sponsors. Sponsors are big companies that find influential people, big streamers, uh, to sponsor them. And the product doesn't have to, have, an, have to be related to gaming itself. So you have like Kobe Bryant, Des Bryant, Go Cowboys, and Michael Jordan, and Michael Jordan of streaming. All of them are sponsored by different companies. Ninja by Red Bull, Doctor by Gillette, and The King Shroud. Uh, by the HyperX family. I forgot to put another box here for me for next year, but hopefully by next time it will be there. Fun? Okay. Like we said, we have streamers, they make good money, you have people like I showed you before, and by the way, the three people that you just seen, they almost make like a professional athlete in the NHL, NFL, NBA, just to be clear. These people make millions of dollars. And if you have gaming and sport, and it is a sport, you have gaming events. And that's where eSport and ESL come in. eSport, e it's the electronic sport, and the ESL, it's the electronic sport league. This is not an NBA, NHL, or NFL game. This is a gaming event. You can see all of them sitting over there, all the players. You can see the media here, and of course, all the crowd. And it's huge events that yeah, it's really, really amazing. You can see even all the media here, all the commentators over here, and it's broadcasted live like any other professional game. And the forecast for the new, for the upcoming years, uh, by the way, this year it's already passed. This forecast was, I think, from a year ago. This year it's already passed the $1 billion in revenue when it comes to eSport and ESL, and it keeps on growing and growing. Uh, there was even a leap in one year for almost 200% to 400% leap in the, uh, in the revenue. Okay, now we've talked about how much it's amazing, it's awesome. This is the part that I get a little bit emotional, so uh, excuse me. There's a lot of pros and cons when it comes to gaming. Yeah, we heard I a lovely video here before that said there's yeah, it's not good maybe to stay at home all the time. There's good things and bad things. I want to show you that gaming is more than just a game. I'm going to show you a video in just a little bit about a person I personally admire. His name is Rocky No Hands. And he is like his name. He doesn't have any hands. But he still gets up every day, streamed. One of the best gamers I know. And he makes good living enough of it out of his home in a safe uh and the playful manner, he's enjoying life as we say. I want to show you uh, Rocky. Just learn your limits on the thing and what you can and can't do. After a while, I got good at it. 
Oh shit. Oh, incoming. Oh my god. I just had shot him with the M24 dragon. <laughs> no. Well, why don't you slap here as a professional game of Venom Toy Gen has the problem that of course he can't use his hands and he has a customized gaming setup so he can do what he loves and provide for himself. I can tell you that some of us on Twitch, YouTube, all of these social media where we're behind the we're behind the screen or behind the keyboard, some of us suffer from this or that type of disability. It can be mental, it can be physical, it can be people that are bedridden, <coughs> handicapped, and unfortunately a lot of other things. You have to realize that streaming closes this gap, gaming closes this gap and make easy easier for people to communicate and talk to each other regardless where they are, what they do, because they have common grounds, something that uh, they all love. I want to show you another uh, benefit of gaming. Uh, the next kid I'm going to show you, he couldn't go uh, for a field trip with his class, so usually back in the day, you know, he would be sad being at home. Today is totally different. This is what this kid do, did. He's at home playing with his feet, uh, playing Fortnite. His dad is in awe. He thought his kid was going to be sad by staying at home and can't go on a field trip with his friends. Quite the opposite. He's having fun. I just want you to think if we had the option to help people with gaming when it comes to co create content, create setups, gear, customize, um, customize stuff so we can help and do more. Think about even this. You have a kid in figure therapy. My mom is a head nurse and I, I've seen these kids. They don't want to work out. They don't want to do those things. Put two joysticks in their hands. Put a video game for them that imitates, like figure therapy based game. They're going to have the time of their life. They're going to love it. Think about this soldier that is bedridden and will never be able to leave his bed. He, does, he can't travel. He can't do none of that. We put VR glasses, which is virtual reality glasses on him and show him the world like he never experienced. There's so many benefits to this. Now, I can tell you, I'm not so different than them. Me, myself, I have over 100% disability. I suffer from severe PTSD, which is post-trauma stress disorder. I suffer from anxiety. And I can tell you, I had months uh, that I didn't see daylight. It was really, really hard. So I can tell you gaming, besides my mom, God bless her, got me out of bed and put me on the computer and gave me the option to communicate with people and, and talk to people, even though I was totally alone at home. And I felt alone, but I always had someone to talk to. And streaming came and gave it meaning because I was able to take something that I love, something that I good at, despite my restrictions and my disabilities and make a living off of it and have fun and provide for myself with honor without depend on anyone else. And people do not understand how gaming and streaming in general helps so many people. This is my mission, not to make people stay at home and their PCs and not leave it. My mission is to help the people that are trying to leave the home. Stack up, they do care packages filled with good stuff of gaming and, and good things for uh, soldiers of families and soldiers of all over the world. Hopefully, soon Israel will work in on it and they send those care packages to help people just to motivate them. They even create customized gear for soldiers that apply and they really try to help to help as many people there can. Uh, one last thing the little kid that you saw before, I don't know who's watching, but if you have the power or the influence to do so. That kid little dream is to meet Ninja or to play with him or talk to him. So if anyone watching it can make this happen, it would mean the world, not to, not to me, to him. So if anyone out there can do it, it would be awesome. I thank you so much for listening.